The National Urban League NUL, formerly known as the National League on Urban Conditions Among Negroes, is a nonpartisan civil rights organization based in New York City that advocates on behalf of African Americans and against racial discrimination in the United States. It is the oldest and largest community-based organization of its kind in the nation. Its current president is Mark Morial. History. The Committee on Urban Conditions Among Negroes was founded in New York City on September 29, 1910 by Ruth Standish Baldwin and Dr. George Edmund Haynes, among others. It merged with the Committee for the Improvement of Industrial Conditions Among Negroes in New York founded in New York in 1906 and the National League for the Protection of Colored Women founded in 1905, and was renamed the National League on Urban Conditions Among Negroes. In 1918, Eugene K. Jones took the leadership of the organization. Under his direction, the League significantly expanded its multifaceted campaign to crack the barriers to black employment, spurred first by the boom years of the 1920s, and then by the desperate years of the Great Depression. In 1920, the organization took the present name, the National Urban League. The mission of the Urban League movement, as stated by the National Urban League, is to enable African Americans to secure economic self reliance, parity, power, and civil rights. In 1941, Lester Granger was appointed executive secretary and led the NUL's effort to support the March on Washington proposed by A. Philip Randolph, Bayard Rustin and A. J. Must to protest racial discrimination in defense work and the military. During the civil rights movement, Granger prevailed in his insistence that the NUL continue its strategy of education and persuasion. In 1961, Whitney Young became executive director amidst the expansion of activism in the civil rights movement, which provoked a change for the League. Young substantially expanded the League's fundraising ability and made the League a full partner in the civil rights movement. In 1963, the NUL hosted the planning meetings of A. Philip Randolph, Martin Luther King Jr., and other civil rights leaders for the March on Washington. During Young's 10 year tenure at the League, he initiated programs such as Street Academy, an alternative education system to prepare high school dropouts for college, and New Thrust, an effort to help local black leaders identify and solve community problems. Young also pushed for federal aid to cities. Clarence M. Pendleton, Jr., was from 1975 to 1981, the head of the Urban League in San Diego, California. In 1981, U.S. President Ronald W. Reagan tapped Pendleton as the chairman of the United States Commission on Civil Rights, a position which he held until his sudden death in 1988. Pendleton sought to steer the commission into the conservative direction in line with Reagan's views on social and civil rights policies. In 1994, Hugh Price was appointed as president of the Urban League. In 2003, Mark Morial, former mayor of New Orleans, Louisiana, was appointed the league's eighth president and chief executive officer. He worked to re-energize the movement's diverse constituencies by building on the legacy of the organization and increasing the profile of the organization. Topic: <laughs> <laughs> Current status. Today, the National Urban League has 90 affiliates serving 300 communities, in 36 states and the District of Columbia. The National Urban League provides direct services in the areas of education, health care, housing, jobs, and justice, improving the lives of more than 2 million people nationwide. The organization also has a Washington bureau that serves as its research, policy and advocacy arm on issues relating to Congress and the administration. The National Urban League is an organizational member of the Coalition to Stop Gun Violence, which advocates gun control. In 1989, it was the beneficiary of all proceeds from the Stop the Violence movement and their hip-hop single, Self-Destruction. In May 2017, the National Urban League began producing its now annual State of Black America TV Town Hall, which airs on TV1. The TV Town Hall elevates social issues related to African Americans through an interview-style format with celebrity guests. The show is executive produced by Rhonda Spears Bell. In February 2018, the National Urban League launched a weekly podcast named, For the Movement, which discusses persistent policy, social and civil rights issues affecting communities of color. 
The co-hosts for the podcast are Mark Morial, Donald Cravens Jr., Kesmache, Kim, Atterbury, and Jordan Lawrence. The podcast was created and is executive produced by Kesmache, Kim, Atterbury. Topic: Presidents. The presidents or executive directors of the National Urban League have been Topic Gallery Topic See also State of Black America Topic See also Chicago Urban League, affiliate Topic Footnotes Topic Further reading Carl, Susan D. Defining the Struggle, National Racial Justice Organizing, 1880-1915 Oxford UP, 2013, 404 pp, focus on NAACP and also Urban League. Hamilton, Dona Cooper. The National Urban League and New Deal Programs. Social Service Review, 1984, 227-243, in JSTOR. Paris, Guichard and Lester Brooks. Blacks in the City, A History of the National Urban League. Boston, Little, Brown and Company, 1971. Strickland, Arvar E. History of the Chicago Urban League U of Missouri Press, 1966. Torre F. Reed, Not Alms But Opportunity, The Urban League and the Politics of Racial Uplift, 1910-1950, University of North Carolina Press, 2008, online Weiss, Nancy Joan. The National Urban League, 1910-1940 Oxford University Press, 1974. Wood, L. Hollingsworth. The Urban League Movement. Journal of Negro History 9.2 117-126. In JSTOR. External links National Urban League website National Urban League Young Professionals website Topic Archives National Urban League records 1900 to 1988 held at the Library of Congress Manuscripts Division Greater Lansing Urban League Inc 1964 to 1976 at the Bentley Historical Library University of Michigan The Seattle Urban League records 1930-1997, 103.16 cubic feet. At the Labor Archives of Washington, University of Washington Libraries Special Collections. Civic Unity Committee records, 1938-1965, 24.76 cubic feet 58 boxes. Contains material related to the National Urban League, Seattle, Urban League, and Portland Urban League. At the Labor Archives of Washington, University of Washington Libraries Special Collections.